Hello guys and welcome to Terraria. Um, I was watching some of my subscribers the other day and I realized something pretty odd. Um, this amazing game, this beautiful game that was made by it's just a couple of guys, red and blue. Actually, I think I, I think it's only a couple of guys. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Uh, quite oriented with the um lore behind it, but um. Nobody is doing it anymore, and well, of course you have like Chimney Swift and the Outsiders, and you also have Slyfox's brand new series that he's started back up. But um, it's kind of strange. This great game, I love watching commentaries on it. Um, people just have, have stopped doing it, and that's kind—I of, just thought that was kind of odd. Wanted to get that out of the way. And also, I found something amazing today underneath my dresser when I was looking for my USB cord for my. PlayStation 3 so that I could play video games. Um, I found my flash drive. So that means I can record a lot more videos and put a lot more videos on this baby. So that means I don't you guys don't have to wait so long between videos I post because normally what's been going on is I've installed a couple more games. It was it's just been two, but my computer started to lag really bad. So I deleted like eight or nine episodes of uh Minecraft. That's that's the reason the uh, series hasn't been going on anymore. I've just stopped with that series. But, um, just because my computer was, I couldn't do anything else with the computer. But the good news behind this is that I learned from my mistakes, and I probably will never do that again. I'd probably just upload them in all one giant video if I, want, if I ever really need to get them out. But, um, <clears throat> I'm still sporting this cold. I went to school today. So, just because I, I didn't, I don't want to get too, too far behind. And surprisingly, I am still the best kid in my math class. That shows something for the rest of the class. Better study up, you dumb ape. <sighs> you dumb apes. I don't know why my voice fainted there. Probably because I've been short of breath. And as you can see, I've got some stuff done. Don't need that there. Don't need that there. But I got a ton of stuff done. I have a merchant, Frederick, moving in. I got those houses over there working. This, this house still wants to be a troll. and not work for me. But, um, I got a couple statues. Um, I gotta go check down some trees really quick so I can fix these platforms here. But I made a little greenhouse. A little bit of, let a little bit of sunlight into this place. But it felt like it was a bit dark. That thing, I don't know what I can use that for, but, um, I guess it's kinda neat. I freaking hate bunnies. Just cause they're annoying. They should drop something. They should drop something that you can mix with the angel statue. This is Nurse C Caitlin. Catlin? Caitlin? I also put a little yeah she really wants to be able to go up and down they should add ladders but um I've been doing a lot of stuff on Terraria lately just because my minecraft has been broken and I just kind of need the sandbox thing there we go one two three four I'm gonna go see oh hey it's a bird I only killed one other bird hey where'd my blow dart go oh it's right here there are. Birds, I think, should drop, like, bird meat. Just saying. Let's see. Place here and here. I wish there was some kind of science to place in those things, just because I want to be able to have an efficient farm. Because what's one of those things you really don't think about that you need? I have a mana star. That is really important for me, because um, a lot of things I do is based around mages and stuff like that, because... Mages are like, I've always saw mages like a giant mobile, uh, like a small mobile tank that can hide really well. Like, I've always played a mage as like a guy who hides behind, who hides behind his teammates throwing stuff from a range. But he's like, okay, imagine the heavy from Team Fortress 2 with the speed of the scout and can jump like the scout as well. That's, that's the way I see a mage. Except he also has, but he also has the, the health of a scout. Just use like the power of the heavy. That's what I'm trying to say. The reason I have this uh, thing right here so that I can farm grass seeds because I really want to get that link outfit. And also, in addition, I also want to get um, some more green banners. I'm not sure if I need grass seeds for those. I just wasn't paying attention when I made these ones. But um, you can never have too many flags. Let that be a lesson. I'm gonna move this one so that it's not in the face. In the face. But yeah, never. You can never have too many flags. Oh, I can't place it there. Oh, I guess I can only place it on solid blocks. No bother. No bother. But um, whoever gets that house up there is gonna get pretty sweet, pretty sweet deal. Let's make sure that housing is still suitable. Not suitable. 
door open? There we go. That's exactly the reason I thought it would be. Actually, I think I'm gonna move these statues because they're in the way. I really I want to be able to open my doors. Now the problem is where I'm where I'm gonna move them. I think I already have an idea what I'm gonna do with these banners. But um, you know, what, guys, I need you guys to tell me what you like to see me do. There we go. One, two, three. Place. 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 Yeah, don't do that. Place. Dang it. Freaking communism. Ah, oh my God, communism again. Sorry, I'm just getting kind of anxious because my back was itchy. Don't know why. The other day, someone tore up some paper and put it on my hair. That was I did not appreciate that. And I let them know that with my fist. No, just kidding. Um, let's see. I thought I'd made a elevator in here, but it apparently wasn't in here. Uh, I really like how they fixed the walls merging with each other. Now it's like how it's smooth and not. I have to take out all of this just so that I can have that be even with the door. I really appreciate that. They should make stair blocks. Bunnies. Uh, if you saw the... I think it was on... No, it was on... The... Outsiders. If you saw their Terraria Let's Play first episode, and you laughed your butt off like I did, you probably remember the part where it was like... The reason I have that one bomb separate from these bombs is so that I don't use this bomb. Because I really want the demo man to move in. Let's move one grenade out too. Because that's why I have that house up there. But anyway. Uh, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh yeah. Uh, where how the three rabbits jumped onto the green slime that was hiding in the corner. I thought that was kind of funny. Bird. Bunnies are the bane of the, ex bane are the, are the, bane of the earth. Hey, Caitlin, what the frick's wrong with you? I gave you that house. Better pay me some rent. Oh, let's see. Here, here's the, there's, here's the elevator. Uh, there's no real increments, it's just whenever I get to a certain spot, I always try to measure it out as best as I can. And that's why I eat a lot of wood. Oh, I did get down to stone level. You guys are gonna see the, oh, sh Topaz. Didn't even realize that. <laughs> I think it's this uh, problem with the lighting, with um, problem with the lighting in uh when I record, because when I don't record, it's a lot darker, like significantly darker. Either it's a problem when I'm not recording or a problem when I am recording. There's a cave bat, freaking, oh, freaking annoying. My okay, our goal for today is either a find the underground jungle or b ex explore until we get like. A hook, or we find a couple miners. Okay, goal: either find the underground jungle or find four undead miners. Yeah, that's our goal. Not kill, not kill four, just find four. And if it turns out that I find the same one four times, you know what? That's how it's gonna be. Now, there's a lot of ores down here. I didn't fully explore because I wanted to do this with you guys. There was some silver here. I'm really proud of that. I don't know why I'm proud of it, but I am. Let's eat that. Communism. If you wonder why I'm blaming communism for everything, it's because that's the American way. Oh, uh, and if something goes wrong, we just blame whoever we're having. Well, I know we're not, I know we're not having a war with them anymore. So I don't think we are. But um, we just blame everything on our. I that's what everyone does, isn't it? They just blame everything on the people they're fighting. Well, it, it works. Like, it got us to put all the Japanese into a camp. I, I'm not saying I approved of that. I'm just saying it did uh, had some effect. You know, I've been watching the news recently because my TV's been out. And... Yes! But anyway. Um... Dang, it made me lose my train of thought. Oh yeah, and there was like TSA agents molesting grandmothers. It's weird. <laughs> really, really weird. I'm not sure if they were just trolling the public or something like that, but it's just weird. Anyway, um, I went into there. There's nothing in there. Oh, shine potion? Yes. I almost forgot about that. 
So now I can put all the crap together. Now when I find a silver ore, I mean silver vein, or a bronze vein such as that, I can just mine it up in an instant. Now the thing is, this, uh, this isn't a wall, that's why I can't place blocks on it. The more you know. Gold. Oh no, that's not gold, that's blink root. They kind of, they look kind of the same from my perspective. I don't know why, but a lot of my commentators play in windowed mode. It's like, derp derp. Like, I don't think they play it, play it for um, Terraria, but still. It's like, if you know someone who plays in windowed mode, for absolutely no apparent reason, like, they might have a reason, they might have a reason they haven't explained, but, like, for Minecraft, it gives a lower resolution, um, but that doesn't make sense to me, because it doesn't make any sense to do that. Because the main problem with Minecraft isn't the resolution or anything like that, it's the jo uh, Java memory. Uh, like, they don't, they either they don't allocate enough or they allocate too much. And so Java decides it's just gonna go poop like a goldfish and die. Oh man, this cold is really making it hard to commentate because I have to keep swallowing and breathing so that I don't. Oh hey, golden heart, so that I don't start coughing on camera. <laughs> now, if you heard that, I'll just clear my throat. Yeah, throat. Also, it gives really some really annoying voice cracks. Makes me sound like a friggin' prepubescent worm. I actually think I don't think I'm going to school tomorrow just because one reason I went today I think I already said this but I'm gonna say it again um, is because I didn't want to get held back with all my stuff like not held back like fail the class held back but held back like couldn't be bothered to do eight days work or not eight days work five days work at once so I decided to go today pick up two days work and then when I go tomorrow I'll be able to pick up I'm mean, not tomorrow when I don't go tomorrow I'll be able to pick up that day's work my logic is, you can question my logic, but you can't question the fact that I'm an American. What, the ha what, how that has relevance to what the statement, the statement, the previous statement? I have no idea. I wish I had a capture card. I might put that on my Christmas list, um, because I really want to record some my some Sly, because I have um all the Sly games, and I also I used to, I used to have all the Dragon Ball Z Budokai games, but um I have, I think I sold most of those in a garage sale. The idiot I am, the idiot I was to do that it must have been like four or five. Those games were fun. Those games are even better than some of the games they're coming out with today, like in quality, like in the amount of work they put into it. I would use a bomb for this, but I don't think I should. Cause it's not that big. I might use a bomb to blow that wall out. Um, I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but right there, blow that wall out just because it'll kill the things behind it, and I'll be able to get into it. It'll also get rid of some of the water. Plus, I just want to see crap flow. Oh, um, I forgot I can make these. What the heck is that? Let's see. Um, yellow torch? You can make yellow torches with tokens. Huh, that's elegant. I'm gonna use that because I really couldn't care less about the, um... What is it? The regular torches in my house. I mean, to topaz in my house. It's because I think topaz is like... A poo-poo color. And the only thing I, the only thing I know that it's used for is to, um, what is it? to make the lightsaber out of. And I want to, I want to make a homie blade. I am a homie by heart, and I also want to make a red one because I'm also, I also, I also like cookies. I go to the dark side. I forgot I got this. I'm gonna use it. Uh, use it up. Mad bro, mad bro, mad bro. Thought you were mad. When I'm, the only reason I still get copper is so that I can, um, sell it to the merchant. I'm sorry I'm using all these fillers, like, um, and, uh, it's just that I really can't think right now. Last night I had my fever dream. Well, even, I think it's kind of weird because I have a cold, but it was really messed up, like, if you, if you watch Sesame, if you used to watch Sesame Street as a kid, then you'll know who I'm talking about when I say, like, Big Bird and Elmo were doing doing crack in the bathtub while I was trying to when I walked in on them trying to take a shower and Ernie and Bert having a fight and trying to burn my house down I have no idea why um oh. Oh. this is not good not good at all I am afraid for the lives of my people oh crap and there's a zombie right now Zombies and skeletons get a mega health boost, like defense boost, I mean, and a mega damage boost, and they can break down doors during a blood moon. Okay? So, yeah, I'm kind of scared. 
Because I only have bronze armor. I'm not bronze. I'm gonna call it bronze from now on. God, for Bob Saget. Because even Sly Fox will call iron silver. And so I'm gonna take a page from Sly Fox and say, okay, fuck it. <coughs> well, actually, I don't think he said that, but again, what I just said. Because I don't want to keep saying that over and over again. For my PG audience, aka my grandmother, who doesn't want me to swear. If, if, if she ever does watch these, I'm not sure she does. I know for a fact she doesn't. Fuck it, fuck it. Golden chest. Ah! Alright, let's mine this crap up. Oh my god, see? Also speed boost. Forgot about speed boost. Oh my gosh, is he getting a jumping boost as well? Denied. I'm boning them away. I got an iron dick, dude. Come at me, bro. Critical hit. Oh, there's another one! I think he's stuck down there. Okay, I want to see what's going on down there, but I can't. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's why he was jumping back up. Boot all. Angel statue! Cool bars, cobwebs, healing potion. Oh, more cell powder. Forgot I had that. Oh, I, I never made it in the first place. Water breathing potion, healing potion, gold bar. Oh, let's. That's sexy. Alright. I'm gonna go down here. I'm not afraid of getting lost, just because even if you do get lost, you can just restart. Damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna say this out of the blue. I don't know why, but I am. My grandpa's second wife, I call her my nana. Um, was a uh, Jehovah's Witness, but she never knocked on anyone's door. So I don't know why I wanted to say that. I guess I just wanted to. Take that, bro. <laughs> Crap out of you. I don't know why I wanted to say that. Just get that out in the open. <laughs> um, if you have a problem with it, come at me, bro. Because I really don't see any problem about that. It's because it's kind of unique, I guess. I mean, the majority of the oh, the majority of uh, North Americans is Catholicism and Christianity, and so I guess it's kind of unique that my nana was a um, Jehovah's Witness. And the awesome thing about that was she still gave us Christmas presents, but she called them winter winter gifts. And oddly enough, um, she passed the same way my mother did, which is well not the exact same way, but pretty similar way. I think that's pretty awesome. Even though they're like related in no way, shape, or form. I mean, it wasn't even my the the grandfather I'm talking about wasn't even my mother's father. My father's father was, and I think that's out of this world. How it was like so, how like it wasn't the same exact thing. And I'm not I'm not gonna talk about it. Like, I'm not gonna go ahead and talk go into detail. But I think it's kind of neat because it was like they they never knew each other until uh, my grandfather had gotten married to her. And that's just kind of neat, I think. Um, yeah, but I really, uh, that reminds me, this kid at school, he, he thinks he's hard and all that junk. I call, I call him a one, I, I call him a WW, WWG, wannabe, wannabe gangster. Because this kid, first of all, he doesn't know what a 9mm is, he thought it was some kind of drug. It might, it might be, I don't know, maybe his dad's freaking weird, invented a new drug. Or, um, oh, I forgot to pick up that chest. Crap. Or something along the lines of... He's, I, uh, I think he thought it was, like, a needle you can use for, like, heroin. And he, th he thought heroin, w heroin was the one that made you trip out and go crazy all over the place. Yeah. I tried explaining it to him which one that was, and he was, like, completely oblivious to the fact of what... I'm not, I should, I really shouldn't be talking about drugs on the show. This is a show, I guess. I might start putting it out frequently on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Just to make, give you guys a reason to go on. Yeah, like, there's a, uh, my best friend is suicidal most of the time. He's like, he's not emo, but he's kind of suicidal a lot, which is kind of odd in my opinion. Like, he, he has no reason to be suicidal. His dad is, is like, I don't want to say rich, but his dad is always home. He works from home. Um, his dad is like really awesome. Well, he's not. He's awesome to me because I'm a nerd. Uh, so is my friend. 
Uh, he's like my only, the only person I would actually call a friend that I've ever met in this world. That like I can like go over to his house. He can come over to my house. And oddly enough, he's like the complete opposite of me. He's completely impulsive. He has ADHD, so that's again, he just that's part of his being impulsive. He makes uh, really bad decisions. Again, part of being impulsive. Um, he can't pay attention. Part of being impulsive. Um, he's pretty ignorant to a lot of things. Like I showed him, like I I, I had to help him understand how the kids at the school thought because we don't go to the same school anymore. Just because I just could not stand the kids at the other school. They were like, if the world were, excuse me, if the world were a pie, they'd be the burnt part on the bottom. I'm not trying to say that they're black or anything, but they were pretty. They were pretty like, they, they were nasty, mean, rude, selfish people. And so I had to help him understand that. And it doesn't bother him too much because, again, he's impulsive and I'm not. So I thought my decisions through when I went there. And so my decisions would normally get me in trouble because they wouldn't understand what I was trying to tell them. Like, I call one person ignorant, five other people chime in saying she's not stupid. And yes, I'm, I said she's not stupid because the majority of the people at that school were women. Just like, I'm pretty sure the majority of the population is now women. And not in China, of course, because they like, they want to they keep their last name. <coughs> I should shut up. Foot and mouth. Take that out. Put something else in the mouth. AKA cookies. Because I'm on the dark. I freaking swear. Jirak. Oh, I forgot he deleted his account. Uh, I know him in real life and he's told a lot of dirty jokes. I'm tired of it. He acts like a four year old. Okay, if a four year old's telling dirty jokes, you need to tell your mom about that one because that's pretty crazy. Uh, but he acts like a 12 year old. I mean, it's fair because he's like. I think he's 13. I'm not sure. I forgot the blood moves up. These guys are just being so easy. Maybe, maybe, um, I'm actually pretty satisfied with what we've done today. So, um, I don't think we need to continue with the. I, I'm gonna stop making objectives. I'm gonna stop. Because it's really impossible. Especially the one we made up. <coughs> or I made up. Oh, black slimes is not good. Take that. Hope. Yeah, I've been playing some Saints Row. Not Saints Row 3, but Saints Row. Because I don't have Saints Row 3, I don't have Saints Row 2. I don't even have, I don't even own Saints Row. I got it, my brother got it from his friend, who's, I'm pretty sure his friend is, like, kind of special. He doesn't, he, does, he doesn't think he is, I don't know why he doesn't, because his friend, he's impulsive, but he's impulsive, stupid choices impulsive. Not impulsive, bad choices impulsive, it's like... You ask him what's 10 times 10, he'll say 20, and then he'll start yelling, no wait, no wait, no wait, no wait, no wait, for like 10 minutes before he checks guys himself into the 100. He's really, like, slow. It's hard to talk to him, and he speaks in mostly Spanish, even when, like, he was at our house the other day, and my grandmother come in, had come over, and um, so he was going, he was getting ready to go home so that we could watch the movie with our grandmother, and he started talking Spanish to her. Like she was, like she knew, like he knew her, like as a friend, and she knew Spanish. Like, because the, the few Spanish words he was using, I know because of the kids I go to, go to with at school. They, um, they they felt like they had to tell me, even though I really wish they hadn't. Because they think they're cool when they can say bad words in Spanish. But the words he was using with her, I was able to pick out a few choice words such as "ho," um, the female dog, and. What was the other one? Oh yeah, I also picked out the color black. If you know what the color black is in Spanish, then you know that that's kind of a bad that he was using that in front of my grandmother. I'm still really angry with him at that, but I would never say that in front of anyone. It's just, basically, I'm, what I'm trying to say is the neighborhood I live in isn't very ideal for anyone to grow up in. And that's why my dad's trying to get us to move. And if we move, I really hope we can move out to either A, near our, um, near where everyone else in my family lives. It's like, they live uh, up northwest from us, and that's where, like, near the coast. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this before, but I'm in Florida. Uh, but they're, like, near the coast. So they have, like, a 10-minute drive to the ocean. We have a 20-minute drive. And the, th even then, when we, get to the, when we get to the ocean, the beach, it's still littered with broken glass and pl plastic bags. Like, I'm not even sure it's a plastic bag. He just uh, last time I uh, last time we went to the beach, I was like four or five, and then we started going to the beach with our brother. He, he's like 26 now, and he has a much better house than us. And I think Dad's embarrassed by that. My dad is embarrassed by that because, well, uh, my my 26 year old brother, that's not his son, but he's still 
uh, my, 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 my dad married my mom when my brother was, I think, like, 15. Because I remember I was like five or six, and my, uh, my brother was still living with us. So either it was like 15, 16, somewhere around then. And my sister is 24, I think. And 